Land titles and tax declarations in the Philippines, what's the difference? Well, a land title is actually the ownership of the lot, and there'll be a nice little picture drawn up, and it'll actually say this: you own this 100%. Tax declarations is you paid the tax on this bit of land. It means that the land itself has not been divided up. Often what you find is, say, let's just take this screen, is this is the titled lot, this whole screen, but you only own this corner. It's hard to draw. <laughs> just this little bit here. So for that to be split up, you'd have to pay for all of it to be divided up into the various bits and pieces, which is why there's so many bits of land in the Philippines that do not have a title. They have the tax declaration to say, I paid the tax on this bit of land. I believe the tax declaration thing goes back to Marcos because if you paid the tax on the land, that land was yours. That was basically the finding behind it or the mythology, um, I believe. <laughs> I'm not confirming it because I'd have to research it, but I think that's where it come from. Um, that's why if you're buying property or well buying the land you have to be aware of is everything up to date is that land title correct if the land title is correct you're going to be okay <laughs> because i've seen people having multiple titles and all sorts of issues for for us we buy land within the area and within the family so we actually know everybody owns the land that we're purchasing uh, for example, there's a lot behind our lot currently that's for sale for 4 million pesos. It's the next lot we want to purchase. Um, now, the other thing is right away is another odd grey area because if you imagine the lots this size, there may not actually be a legal right of way. So, for example, because I own where I am at the moment, I own this lot here and the road goes through the through the front of my gate, I could actually close the road. There's nothing to stop me doing it. It wouldn't make me very popular, um, but I could actually close the road if I wanted to, if I was a complete whatever. But the the point being is a lot of these are local arrangements, are local agreements. They're not actually cast iron law, which is why you get so many disputes relating to land in the Philippines. Also, a title could be split between seven different people because it's inherited land and there's multiple owners. Uh, for example, my wife's relatives, they own, I don't know how many lots. There's bits of land everywhere. Um, the reality is that the land itself is owned outright, but at the same time, um, some of it is, is entitled. It's a little obscure, but there'll be nobody actually challenge them on it because they've always lived there. It's always been their land. At the same time, the other people on the same title are all relatives. <laughs> so it's, it's um, I mean, if you look where we live, in front of us is an aunt and uncle. Behind us is my wife's grandfather's sister. And behind that is another aunt. The whole area is like that. It's, it's all family in some form. Um, but if you're buying land and it's a different area and stuff, you need to be very careful what you're buying. Um, don't assume just because you've got documents that they're the correct documents. You can get stuff made up in, uh, I think, Manila, sell them along the street. Um, but the reality is you need a good lawyer to make sure everything's ironclad. You've got to make sure that everything's correct. I'm not going to give too much legal advice on that because, quite simply, you've got to do a bit of homework on it and make sure everything's the way it should be and that you haven't got other people coming out the woodwork. Because I know when I was buying, where was I looking at land? I think it was Bulgaria before. That was one of the issues there. You could have some brothers and sisters appear from nowhere saying, this is my land. I, I own this corner here. My sister has sold you that bit, but she only owns this bit in the middle. My other brother owns that bit, and you suddenly find that you paid for a lot this big, but you find you've only really bought that amount because the rest of it is owned by different members of the family, and this is where the legal disputes start. But just be warned, 
it's a pig. That's why I say to people sometimes it's just worth renting, uh, especially if you're getting on a bit, because the politics involved can be a pig. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If it goes right, it's fantastic. Thanks for the watching.